What is up guys? Welcome back to another video from Grey House. Today we're going to be going into our style development series. Grey House Consulting is all about teaching you what they won't teach you in college. Now before I actually jump into this video, I can tell by looking at you that you can see that my hair looks like hell. Yeah, obviously it does because I don't have any product in it, especially on the weekends when I'm on the go. I have a little tip and trick to give you guys. It's probably worth about $10, maybe even less, but putting on a simple hat is one of my go-tos. Although I'm not much of a hat person, I just kind of like putting on a hat, not messing with any hair product. Let's get up and go. Today's video, we're going to be discussing the three items that you most likely need to change right now or probably within the next six months. Now, these items are in no particular order, but I just want to let you know it's something that to be very proactive about. The first item that you probably need to change is your belt. Now I know if you can look at here that the belt looks like it's been through hell. There's a whole bunch of marks. You can tell if you can look at here, it's been through hell, it's got its creases. Well, one of the reasons why, given that this is a reversible belt, although I was using both sides, and I know I shouldn't have been using both sides, you should only stick to one. Dockers probably thought it was a good idea to make reversible belts. I personally don't think they should just because it wears out the belt faster and I'll tell you why. So explaining the idea how it works. So let's say this is your waistline, you close it and you put it here. So it's perfectly fine. But the minute that you change it and you go the other direction, the leather starts bending this way one way and then it starts bending the other way. It bends back on the side that you use most. So for this particular belt, because I was using this as a black belt for my black shoes and my grays and my navies and just more for that side, it bent the black part here. And obviously you can see that's where I use, that's, this is what I use the most. It's all jacked up. So unfortunately I gotta get this belt trash. Now I'm not gonna recommend any particular brand but I am going to say to probably spend a little bit less than $40 for a decent belt. I typically go to department stores like Ross, TJ Maxx, discount stores, dirt cheap, anywhere where I can find a good bang for my buck. The idea, it's not much how you spend, it's how much you look. So for me personally, I spent less than $40 with these belts. They're still brand new and I love these, tried them on. And it was just one of those things that when I was in the store, I knew exactly what I was going to use these for. So this one's texture suede. This one's texture suede. I got these at Old Navy for less than six bucks a piece. Going on from here, because I needed to replace my, my brown black belt, I got another black belt, although it's reversible. I'm still debating what I'm going to use it for, but I got this for less than... 13 bucks. Another one that I actually caught my eye because I do have a preppy side to my style and I just love to be very fluorescent sometimes, which is actually something that's getting me out of my style comfort zone, is this plaid belt. It's got a brown lining and it's probably less than 12 bucks that I got this for. Because I'm not going to be wearing the same belt every day and I'm going to be proactively switching it out, it's actually going to last longer for more than six months, hopefully. That's what I hope for. But it's just something I want you to be proactive about. The other two items are something that a lot of people get very controversial about. Why? I don't know. Maybe they're their favorite socks. I don't care. But I took off the socks that I'm wearing now because I knew it was time for these to go. As you can see, these have pilling, colors faded, even here, there's a lot of pilling going on there. Time for these American Eagle no-show socks, trash. Again, I like going where I can get a good bang for my buck. Not, I'm not really skipping out on quality because I'm going to discount stores and the quality's there. So I got a couple of Steve Madden's. This came in a pack of 10. Now I'm not skipping out on quality when I buy these socks, I mean if you can only get you know socks that are at a Walmart or a Target that's perfectly fine no one's gonna judge you if someone's proactively looking at your socks they have more things to worry about I got these for less than five bucks at TJ Maxx they're my no-show casual socks so the three sock genres that you want to change is your performance your casual and your dress socks I always have a bunch of extra athletic socks. I didn't need to buy any, but I did need to change my dress socks because I am very, very proactive in wearing my funky dress socks. 
I wear these with my boots, I wear these with my dress shoes. Hell, I even wear them with my casual shoes. But this is just something I got. I got these Dockers for probably less than six bucks. I'm just saying, guys, you don't need to spend a lot of money, but you do need to make a good investment. I'm gonna show you some excellent, horrible examples of what your underwear probably looks like. I have all these underwear by my fingers because they have holes in them. And obviously, if you can see here, this is going to hell. The waistband is all out of control. They're spilling all right here in the middle of the crotch area. Guys, these three underwears, trash. Your performance and your casual underwear all need to be replaced. Probably if you look into your drawer right now. I'm not going to recommend to you what brand because I'm not endorsing any of the brands I buy today. I just say if you find a brand, stick to it. Perfectly fine. However you much want to spend, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to get my best thing for the buck because I like stretch Supima cotton. I got these Nautica ones for about less than $13. And then I got these performance head ones for less than $8. I really can't complain because I'm going to switch these out in eight months even six months, even four months. It doesn't matter. It just really depends on how much you use your underwear. You know, because the thing is, if you're wearing your casual underwear for athletic wear, obviously because they're not designed for that, you're going to need to probably replace them a little bit soon after maybe even two months. I don't know. I'm not the answer. I don't wear your underwear. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for tuning in for my video. I want you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, follow my Instagram, follow my Twitter, follow my Facebook. I want to let you know that my website is live up and running. If you sign up to pre-order my cheat sheets on how to maximize your time, on how to increase your sales, and how to get hired quickly, you're also going to be part of an exclusive Facebook member group that I created because I want to create a resource for you. By the way, I actually forgot that the underwear I have now that I probably need to change those too. See you later.